Welcome, little scientists. It's Miss Gisa. And today we're going to read a story called The Life Cycle of an Apple Tree, written by Jillian Clifton. Every living thing goes through a life cycle. Life cycles follow the changes in the life of a plant or animal. A plant begins life, grows, drops seeds, and dies. By dropping seeds, the plant starts the life cycle all over again. The life cycle is like a loop that happens over and over. Let's learn about the life cycle of an apple tree. Have you ever cut into an apple to see its seeds? They are hiding inside the fruit. All apple trees start as tiny seeds. The seeds have all the nutrients the tree needs to get started. If the seed falls or is planted in rich soil, then it may start to sprout or grow. Tiny roots reach down into the soil and the plant starts to push up out of the soil. Sprouts grow tiny leaves. The leaves need sunlight so they can make food for the apple tree. If the plant gets enough sunlight and water, then it will start to grow taller. Over time, the sprout turns into a seedling its stem becomes harder and taller. Its roots reach farther down into the ground. Its leaves grow so they can catch more sunlight. Seedlings turn into saplings if they have enough room to grow. Their stem becomes hard and starts to look more like bark. Now the apple tree is on its way to becoming a mature or adult tree. Adult trees grow buds in springtime. The buds then open into flowers. Honeybees come to the flowers and pollinate them. That makes new seeds. An apple forms around the seeds. The apple grows bigger in the summer and turns red or green. In fall, many apples become sweet and they're ready to be eaten. People and animals eat apples that they pick from a tree or take from the ground. Animals scatter apple seeds in new places so more trees can grow. Some apples drop to the ground and rot, leaving seeds behind. From a tiny apple seed, a new apple tree will grow. This starts the life cycle all over again. In that way, the life cycle is like a loop. Apple trees live on in another way too. When the tree dies, it returns nutrients to the soil. From there, new apple trees or other plants may grow in its place. This life cycle loop happens for every apple tree you see. Okay, now that we've read a little bit about the life cycle, you're going to use the cards in your activity packet that I sent home to create the life cycle of an apple. Now yours are not exactly like mine, but they will suffice. So do you remember, how does an apple start? What's the first step in the life cycle of an apple? That's right, the seeds. So the seed gets planted and then we'll look for the word seed, which starts with an S and ends with a D, seed. So first the seed. Then what happens next? That's right, the seed sprouts and there's a seedling. Seed and seedling have the same root word seed and then you've got the ling at the end. All right, and then what happens? Then the seedling grows and grows and grows into a big, full-grown apple tree, right? That's the tree. I'm going to find the word that starts with a t, tree. What happens next? What grows on those tree branches? Yes, that's right the bud, the bud, and then you see 
the flower, right? And remember, the flower is what actually becomes the apple. So you've got the bud, and then the bud opens up into a flower. And then the last part of the apple life cycle before it starts again with the seed is the apple, the fruit. Now, you can either lay them out horizontally next to each other, or you can make it a circle, like a cycle, where you have the apple seed, and then the seedling, and then the tree, and then the bud and flower, and finally, the fruit, the apple. And then once you open up the apple, you get the seeds and it starts all over again. And we call it a cycle because it goes around and around and it starts over and over again. There's a beginning and an end. Thanks for joining us today. I hope you learned a lot about the apple life cycle. Remember to support our channel by liking and subscribing.